What's up guys and welcome to our sixth What's Up Wednesday. So for today we have just a couple of small updates. We're currently at, uh, I believe it was around 73, 74 subscribers. So we're getting really close to that 100 subscriber mark for our first giveaway. I do plan to do more of those in the future. So I was thinking probably like 250, 500, and at 1,000, and then kind of see how the channel goes from there and just keep doing the, the giveaways to you know, be an incentive to help the channel grow. So if you guys know anyone, you know, share the video with your friends, Facebook, however you wish to do it, it definitely helps the channel and gets us closer to that goal. Uh, as for a couple of updates, we, uh, we actually have a sponsor coming up for, well, really all of next week's videos. I'll be doing a video each day. There'll be shorter videos, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then a compilation on Saturday, which will probably just be all the videos combined. Uh, the sponsor will be Turtle Wax. They sent me a couple of products uh, as a, a thank you for the McGuire's Hybrid Ceramic Wax versus Turtle Wax Ice Seal and Shine. Apparently, they appreciate and like the content that I put out and have, uh, have given me a few products to try out. Comically, one of them also being Ice Seal and Shine. So we will have another just kind of small, small review on that one. Uh, but what I'll do is just make a small video each day. So next week will be the week of turtle wax. It's uh, the least I can do. It, it really does mean a lot to me that a, uh, a company would reach out to a channel as small as mine and offer any type of sponsorship. Uh, it's, it's not a paid for promotion or anything like that. I do still plan to give a fully unbiased review of each product that they've sent me. Uh, pretty much I'll be taking a look and make sure that all the products I use are used correctly as well as used safely. Uh, for example, one of them is a window cleaner, and mine are nice and filthy, thanks to Izion. He uh, he loves to slobber all over the windows. There's there's a lot. It's, it's back there. It's covered. It's actually really gross. Um, so I, I need to make sure the product they sent me is tint safe. I'm fairly certain it is. I will double check. So I'll look at the, the safety data sheet, make sure it's good there. And just also online reviews, make sure I do use the product correctly, because I do want to do my due diligence for each product. Uh, one of the other things is an interior cleaner, so I'm going to make sure it's safe on the vinyl, the plastics, the hard, rigid plastics. The only thing I won't be using it on is on the actual dashboard itself, which is Alcantara, because you're not really supposed to get that wet. Uh, so I'll, I'll have a short video for each of those and give a small review. Then Saturday will be a compilation of all those videos, and I'll also add just kind of my own commentary at the end based on what I think about for the, each product. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I do hope that I can do more content like that as time goes on because, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I want to do. I, I want to, you know, give products their due diligence and review them and help people make educated decisions when it comes to detailing products. Now, I know a lot of the people that, are, that will be watching this, they're not going to be professional detailers. They're going to be the hobbyists working in their garage or helping out friends and family. And what they want to know is, hey, this product that I can buy at Walmart, is it going to be good enough for me to, to do X, Y, and Z? And honestly, you can get some amazing results with stuff that you can find just at Walmart. Uh, I mean, obviously, you can't get a dual action polisher at Walmart. Uh, I mean, if you exclude Walmart Online, that is, you can get everything on Walmart Online now. Uh, those products, you, know, you can use those and get a beautiful finish. Is it going to be something that lasts, you know, six, eight months with a single product? Probably not. Um, I know the new ceramics uh, hybrid, what was it? Hybrid ceramic seal. God, I just forgot the name. <laughs> hybrid, hybrid ceramic wax. That was embarrassing. We're not editing that out either. It's just going to stay. Uh, that can last, you know, three to six months, depending on how you apply it and if you maintain it, what kind of roads you go on. So you will have a good finish on your car for a long time, even using just over-the-counter products. And I do want to get more videos like that out, so that way you're not wasting your money. You know, no one, not a lot of people have, you know, ten, twenty, thirty dollars just to dump on a, a random product, try it out, and see how it works. Um, full disclosure, I don't really either. So a, a sponsorship or anything like that, like Turtle Wax is doing, heavily appreciated. So uh, I, I do want to say thank you there in the, the video that will be coming out Friday, which is just kind of the unboxing. I also put my thanks in there as well uh, because it does mean a lot to me. It helps me continue to produce uh, content on a timely manner without cutting into my budget. You know, right now everything that I do is pretty much financed solely by my own wallet. Um, and that's why, like, for example, over to my right, because I am sitting in my garage right now, uh, I have a 2007 Daytona 675. I would love to, to restore that as part of the channel. I just can't right now. Um, the estimated cost is over 1000 I don't have that to put into it right now. Once I do, we will start to actually do the rebuild on it and have a full series about that. I think uh, you know, there's a lot to be learned there. 
lot about what to look for when it comes to repairing a bike that has gone down. This one, uh, it's been down a few times, so it's seen better days, but you know, it is completely rebuildable as long as the engine still runs, which to my knowledge it does, but it's been a few years. So we'll see. Uh, other things are coming out. I want to do more videos like I did on Monday, which was my uh, five minute, just tire blooming explanation video. So more educational things like to get more of that out, just short, quick, easy videos that can help people have, uh, you know, just a knowledge base for what they're doing. So that way, if you are explaining to say a potential client, why you're doing X, Y, or Z, you know, why, why they keep getting brown tires after, you know, two, three, four weeks, depending on the tires they have, you can explain it in an intelligent manner to these, to these customers in a way that they'll understand. I would like to put more of that content out because we need more of that in the environment. Like I, I haven't seen a whole lot really explaining in detail how certain things work. Uh, I mean, like Ammo NYC, they have a he he put out a wonderful video on you know the difference between polishing, compounding, and wet sanding, how all that works. Uh, I do plan to do my own take on that video, not to copy him or anything. It's just part of an educational series I want to do, and. Uh, you know, that way we, we have that for customers and clients or friends and family to help us sound more intelligent when we're having these discussions. So the uh, the GoPro crashed, so we have a little bit of a cut here. Not usually what I want to do, but that's fine. We'll work with it. So as I was saying, you know, we want to sound more intelligent when we're having these conversations with our customers. So that's why I want to put out a, an educational series for just quick five-minute detailing videos to, to help out and have that, that discussion and get that going. A few of the other things is uh, just additional content such as uh, a finance related channel or not channel but segue for for the channel you know i've i've had a lot of my friends who who know me and know what i do ask me you know how i build credit what i do to make additional income and what i've done to get to where i'm at today and you know i i have rental properties that's really my my investment when I decided I was going to do this, I didn't research it at all. So I, I actually lucked out in making a, what I believe to be smart choice. Um, probably should have done some research first, but that's not the point. But starting off, uh, you know, I didn't have credit when I started the, the whole process of building my credit. And you, you never do. So a lot of people will do similar things to what I did and make a really, really bad choice. Um, for example, I... Having no credit, bought a 2008 Saturn Sky Redline for $20,000 at like 16 or 18% interest. Don't do what I did. This was a bad idea. <laughs> um, I wasted a lot of money. Like most of my payment was just interest. It was terrible. I love the car. It was an awesome car, but it's absolutely just bad, bad decision on my part. So don't do what I did. Uh, I'll make a video series just kind of explaining what credit is, how it works, how to build it, how to start getting credit, because there are ways to do this much smarter than I did. And uh, it makes your life much easier. And if you start when you're you know, 16 or 18, or if your parents are really awesome, they start you off even younger than that. Um, you know, once you hit your you know, early 20s, you can buy a house, you can buy a car at a low interest rate, you can do pretty much anything that you want and not have to worry about it. Um, there, there are a lot of financial gurus out there who speak upon, you know, n never actually buying anything, only rent, only lease, credit doesn't matter. And I see where they're coming from, but in my opinion, and keep in mind, this is solely my opinion, I, I don't believe that. Um, there are things that you can do in life that will make you more money, you know, if you want to go the investment route, but not everyone has the same opportunities. There are some things that hold us back. There are some things that hold other people back. You know, bad decisions in our past that have, that hold us back. So I want to have a, a more realistic approach and, and see what we can do. You know, I, I want to have the discussions with people on my channel, my viewership, to see if there are ways that we can find to help them out, to help them save money, to help them have a potential for a future with retirement. You know, I'm not... I'm not a, a financial advisor. Yes, I'm wearing a suit, but I work in sales currently. Uh, my, my background is purely tech. I just kind of got lumped into a sales role. It's awesome. But, you know, there, there's a lot that can be learned. There's a lot of mistakes we can make. There are a lot of things we can do to mess things up. And 
I want to help people not make the same mistakes I've made and be able to be successful in their future. And that's one of the segues into the channel that I want to make and have that the open. So we will start to see that content coming out soon. Um, well, that, that kind of got a little bit of a tangent there, but that's, that's all I've got for this What's Up Wednesday. As I said, keep an eye out for, for Friday and all of next week, which will be the week of Turtle Wax. And as always, if you guys like the content I'm putting out, it helps a ton if you share the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with new content that comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.